guys. I am so excited to do another art project with you. And so I have a blank canvas here. And what we're going to be doing today is really fun. Got this great idea um, on Pinterest. And we're going to be. Hi. <laughs> so um, I'm going to mostly be focusing on showing you guys pictures of the canvas and as I'm working. So what we're gonna do is this really fun creative tape art. And so the supplies that you're gonna need today, um, you can use any form of paint that you'd like. You can use um, acrylic or you can use watercolor. You don't have to have paint. You can have crayons or colored pencils. And of course you don't have to have a canvas. I'm using a canvas today if you do have canvas that you can use, that is ideal for this project because it makes it really special. You can hang it on your wall. But um, if you do not have the opportunity to buy a canvas and use a canvas, which by the way, I get mine at Walmart when I'm doing projects like this, um, they're very inexpensive. If I'm doing something larger and I want a more durable canvas, I might go to Michael's or another store like that but you can really get some inexpensive canvas at Walmart. So here's my canvas. It's just blank and white. You can use um, cardboard actually. If you have a cardboard box and you'd like to use the back of a cardboard box and paint it white, that makes a really great canvas. And then also, um, what else could you use? Um, you can just use paper. So if you guys wanna use paper, um, that's fine too, you can frame it, but this is going to be a really pretty project. When we're finished, you'll see. I'm going to be doing some really fun geometric shapes, and then we're going to paint those shapes and come up with this really fun art project. So, first I'm going to start by taking painter's tape, and if you have painter's tape, that's the best kind that you can use. If you use masking tape, it may work, but you may end up with um, the paint bleeding. So um, again, you don't have to use paint. So if you're not using paint, just use masking tape um, on your canvas. And if you are using paper, you're going to want to use a different technique because once you tape paint, once you tape the paper, you won't be able to rip the paint off of the paper. So um, if you're going to be using paper, um, what you're going to do is you're going to use a pencil to draw very light lines where the tape would go with a ruler. And so by showing you on the canvas, you'll have an idea of what I mean by that. So um, I'm going to go ahead and tape the canvas and we're going to do these really fun geometric shapes. So as I'm taping, you can be getting your supplies together. And the finished product's going to be really fun. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull my paint. And I'm going to start with a geometric shape. I'm just ripping the tape. The first line I did, it looks like this. So you can see that I'm going to be doing some fun geometric taping. And I'm going to be taping in many directions. I'm going to be taping this way, and this way, and this way, and whatever kind of design you would like to do, okay? So I'm going to stop recording, and then I'm going to complete my design, and then show you what I did. You can copy my design or you can make up your own, but what's going to happen is that we're going to be painting inside the lines 
And then when we peel the paint away, there'll be these really cool white empty places that will create this incredible geometric design in between our paint colors. And so each window, I'm going to paint a different color. So it'll be really fun and vibrant for spring. And you can hang this on your wall. It'll be a very contemporary art piece that you can have up in your bedroom or in your living room. You can also give it away if you'd like to, but um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna give this one away or keep it because this is the first time I'm doing it. I'm really excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and tape and push pause on my record button and then show you what I come up with. All right, guys. So as you can see, I took that painter's tape and I sectioned off quite a few fun areas of ge geometric shapes. And now you can see my canvas is filled with these blue stripes from the tape and this wonderful geometric design. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my acrylic paint. And again, you do not have to use acrylic paint. You can use tempura paint. You can use watercolor paint. And again, you do not need to go on uh, to do the work on the canvas. However, like I said before, if you use paper, putting tape on top of paper is not the best option. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do a very small pencil line on one side of the tape where the tape would be and another line so you're going to want to use maybe a ruler and draw a straight angles all across. And then you're going to want to make sure that it sort of looks the same way that mine does, where you have these pencil marks where the tape is. And you're going to leave that part blank. Okay, so then I'm going to take some very fun colors in my next few steps and I'm going to paint each of these little geometric shapes a different color. Um, I think my dog likes that. <laughs> Can you hear him in the background? I think he's barking at someone. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and stop recording and I'm gonna start painting and then I'm going to show you what I come up with at the end of the project. All right, guys, so I have filled in just three of my shapes, excuse me, four of my shapes with my first layer of paint. I might do two layers, but I might not. So I've got this bright orange and then green, really dark blue and a very pale pink up there. I still have a lot of shapes to fill in. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and you guys can do that too. Of course, if you're using paper, you can do colored pencils, watercolors, crayons, and of course, if you've got your canvas, um, go ahead and use paint. Paint is just a wonderful medium, and I love working with it. I really love working with you guys and doing fun art projects with you. So, as soon as I'm done with this, I will let it dry completely and then I will slowly peel away each piece of my painter's tape to reveal my final project. And so I can't wait to show you what I did. See you soon. All right, guys. So here I am the next day after I started this project with you guys. And I have now filled in all of these great colors in my creative tape art that we're doing together. And so my canvas has this blue tape, and then of course I filled in all of these different colors. It looks a lot like a mosaic. So here's the big reveal. We're gonna go ahead and take all of this blue tape off, and we'll see how our finished product looks. So 
I'm going to keep taking this tape off. It's going to take me a little bit of time to take every piece of tape off. And then we're going to see this really fun geometric arc that comes out. Now I see that some of my tape has bled a little bit, which is okay. It's not perfect, but um, I'm going to keep taping this off. And then I'm going to go ahead and come back and show you my finished work. All right, guys. So I've removed all of my tape, and um, you can see there's a couple little areas where the tape wasn't quite secure, and a little bit of my paint bled to the sides, but really, all in all, for my first attempt at this fun um, geometric taping uh, artwork, I have a really, really fun design. I could hang it this way, right? I could hang it vertically or I could turn it horizontally. There's really no right or wrong, but I love all the different um, bright colors that are here. And um, if, I, if I did it again, I would definitely maybe use pastels next time or um, change up the colors. And then of course, I might use a little bit more durable tape because there's a few spots where it bled, but all in all, I'm very happy with how it turned out. It was very easy to do. So I hope that you guys get a chance to go to Walmart buy a canvas, do some fun artwork, and you can just decorate your uh, bedroom for the summer with some new fun artwork. All right, guys, I love you lots, and I will see you on Tuesday.